Hey guys, I'm Scott with Disaster Preparedness Specialist and I'm with Natalie and we are Daddy Daughter Disaster Preparedness and today we're going to be going over Emergency Water Storage <laughs> So today we're going to be going over your water storage and the most important thing that you want to know is how much water you're going to need for your whole family and like the rule is that you're going to want to have one gallon of water per day per person at a minimum but this is a 55 gallon barrel thing <laughs> and so this is the disaster handbook preparedness preparedness manual and so right here is the chart for your family so think about how much people you have in your family so if you have a family of five and you would be gone for about 30 days you'd go all the way down and you would need 150 gallons for 30 days so these are 55 gallons so if you want so two of these is 110 so you would probably need about three but if you want to go extra and make it like extra safe and extra prepared you can get four gallons and four of these barrels too these barrels are specifically for water storage so when you get any barrels or drums like these you want to make sure that they're just for the water storage because these are specifically for water storage so we'll leave a link down below to show you where we can get where you can get these Barrels. All right, good job explaining how much water they need for preparing for a disaster. So now we're going to show you how to fill these bad boys up. All right, guys, so with the kit, you can usually get these in a the kit. They come with the barrel and they come with a kit here. This is a wrench. It's called a bong wrench and it opens up, opens up and locks these caps on here. So that it fits in there like that. You turn it and open it up. Okay, so we have ours in our garage here. You might have a space in your house, like a storage closet, we have, right? We have one. Yeah, we have some in our storage closet as well. They're not, it's not recommended to have them outside because of the elements. I mean, you can in a last ditch resort if you need to have them outside. But if you have them outside and they're on the ground, you might want to think about putting some two by fours underneath it so they're not just resting on the dirt or on the ground outside. So what we're gonna do is fill these up. Now, when you're filling these up, you can get water from your your house faucet, your spigot, your outside spigot. Yep. And this is what kind of hose? This is just, I don't know. <laughs> well, it's not a garden hose. Yeah, it's not a garden hose, but like, it's just a hose. You need to make sure. A fire hose. You need to make sure that you don't use your garden hose. Because, because it's it has bacteria. Out and has, well, you don't know what's been inside of there. So you want to put as clean a water in here as you can, okay? And to preserve the water that's going in here, it comes with a preserver kit, which you would want to get. And one of these preservers will treat for 55 five gallons. five years. For five years, okay? So we'll show you all how to do that. These are drinking water hoses, specifically for drinking water, not for your garden, okay? All right, so we're gonna turn the water on and we're gonna fill this, this up. Boy up. We're gonna fill it up halfway. And then we're gonna stop it. We're gonna put the water preserver in and fill it up the rest of the way. Okay, so now we've got this halfway filled. Now we're going to put our water preserver in. Put this in, and how many drops? The whole thing. This, this whole thing? This bottle is for a 55-gallon barrel. A few moments later. <laughs> All right, so we filled this bad boy up. Now it is filled, so we're going to take our cap and put this on and seal it real tight. But before we do that, we just want to show you how the pump works, so you'll know how that works. So this is the siphon pump that you'll want to make sure you have. And basically what you would do, okay. you don't want to touch this because you don't want to contaminate it. So 
Hold it from the top up here. Don't touch the white tubing. And now we're gonna put this into the NPS hole. That's the hole it fits in. So put that in. Where's this, right? Yeah. And then you have that tightened down, and then you have access to the water in here through the siphon pump. So it's a good idea to have a smaller container, like a five gallon or whatnot, so you can transfer water into it and bring it to where you need it. So basically, this just pumps like this, and the water will come out. See that, there it comes. There we go. All right, and then the last thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure you seal this up with your wrench. Your little wrench. All right, and you wanna make sure it's nice and tight. Really make it tight. Oops. Tight and tight, okay? And then it comes with these tamper resistant caps. There's two of them. You wanna make sure those are put on there so you know that this has never been opened or tampered with. And they're really hard to put on. You need to, you need to work them on. Ugh. Yeah, they're, Guys, this is hard. hard on. So the last thing that you wanna do is put this label on it so that you know the date that it was filled and then the date it expired. So this lasts for five years. Okay, so now we have on the sticker and we're gonna put the date in the store. All right, so there's your water storage, good to go. Five years, 55 gallons in here. Another 55 gallons here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Bye. All right, good job, Nat. Why did you say Nat? Oh, it says buttress. You want to have the end that says buttress. <laughs> I don't even know what those mean. Okay. okay. You don't want to touch this because you don't want to contaminate it. So hold it from the top up here. Don't touch the white tubing. Dad, you can't touch that part, I thought. <laughs> you need to position your barrel before you fill it in the right location. Ow. Jesus! Ow.